So you want to know why MW2 has to be remastered. It's the same reason why Call of Duty 4 was remastered. There were issues in the game that needed to be fixed or changed. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the main issues within MW2. And that right there is the first thing I want to talk about at number one, the noob tubing. The noob tubing in this game pretty much consists of the grenade launcher, the RPG, and the thumper. And the main problem within this problem that everybody has a problem with is one man army. It is the reason why a few players out there don't even want to play this game because they don't want to put up with it. So what are the solutions? What are the options that might come into play on this? Well, they could keep it the same and it would still be a problem. Or they could nerf it or make uh, Blast Shield more powerful, more resistant to explosives. Either way, I think it's a no-win situation because you're either going to be changing it from its original version or you're just going to be leaving the problem the same that you never fixed in the first place. I know a few people were even saying make Blast Shield uh, a perk in this game, but I think that would further create another problem because, I mean, who would want hit markers on their grenades uh, with, with their Semtex, with their Claymore, C4, or whatever? So instead of just nerfing the hell out of all the explosives in the game, which honestly is not going to happen, I would say just do this. Stop giving unlimited noob tubes to anybody that has one man army on, and take the thumper out of the multiplayer. And I would rather see them do something like that, rather than just keeping it the same and having the same problems, or just nerfing the hell out of all explosives, like I said. And in doing something basic along those lines, you're going to make modes like Ground War, Domination, a lot more playable by fixing these issues. Let's go ahead and move on here to number two, which would be weapons. Weapons, I'm going to go ahead and say that there needs to be a fire cap in place for a few semi-automatic weapons, in particular the FAL and the Striker, along with the EBR and maybe even the pistol. And what a fire cap is, it basically limits how fast a semi-automatic weapon can shoot. That is definitely something that is needed on this game, considering the fact that so many people do use rapid fire controllers or a jitter on this game. Also, while we're on the topic, the M9, the M240, and the MG4, the silencer does not work completely. You will still show up on radar. I would expect that small issue to get taken care of as well. And the last thing I wanted to mention here would be potentially nerfing the Scar H. Some people wanted me to throw this in my video. I'm not really a big fan of nerfing anything that uses bullets. But then again, if you were going to nerf anything on this game, it would be the Scar H simply because, you know, this thing has the accuracy of the ACR and the power of the RPD. It's the most overpowered primary on this game. And also the fact that absolutely everybody else seems like uses this. I would like to see other players use different weapons in the game. And moving on to number three, dedicated servers. I think this is something that's definitely needed in this game as post migration can be a pain in the ass sometimes. And the connection issues are all over the place at moments. So I would definitely expect dedicated servers to be in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered when it happens. And at number four, the rearranging of levels and unlocks for weapons and attachments. What I mean by this is, look at the top weapons on the game. The RPD, the UMP, the SCAR H, the Barrett 50 Cal. Four out of the top five primaries on this game are either unlocked at default or the SCAR H is unlocked at level eight. My opinion, the best weapon should be unlocked later at higher levels. And also the grenade launcher attachment, you get that after getting just 10 kills. I think that should be unlocked after you get, you know, 300 kills. It, it definitely needs to be the last attachment unlocked. And that's going to reduce noob tubing as well. And it, it, it just makes no sense that that attachment is unlocked after just getting 10 kills. That, that is definitely something that absolutely has to be changed. And coming in at number 5, carrier glitching. 
that's something that doesn't even really need an explanation. That just needs to get fixed. And coming in at number six, special grenades. This is something that really is an underrated issue. Uh, a lot of people told me to put this in my video as well. Now, think about this. The special grenades on this game, there's only three options available. You got smoke, you got stuns, and then you got flashes. Versus Black Ops 1, the game right after this one, had five options in its tactical category. MW3 had eight options in its tactical category. So, I mean, the special grenades in those games were very reduced because there was a lot of different options. We don't have that in this game, so I think that it's a very underrated issue once again. I don't know really what can be done about it. And coming in at number seven, the death streaks. The death streaks in this game, absolutely everybody in particular hates the painkiller. I don't really mind it myself, but it kind of gets annoying after a while when you get so many hit markers with a chopper gunner. You know, why don't we ask the experts on this? Why don't we ask the Taliban on what they think about the chopper gunner? Because the chopper gunner in real life just keeps on chopping. It's a goddamn chopper gunner. So why should it be any different in a video game? Anyways, so what are the solutions to the special grenades and the death streak, specifically the painkiller? You know, they could rearrange when it's unlocked so less people have it. Uh, they can make it from three deaths in a row to four. I don't really see any of that really working in the long run. But think about this, if you were Infinity Ward, you want to fix some of these issues to keep fans interested, as well as, you know, throwing something new to put an emphasis on this game in particular that fans have never seen before. And I'm just throwing this out there as an idea, but what if you put in a wild card feature where, you know, you trade in one of your stun grenades or whatever and your death streak, which probably would be painkiller, for something like Marathon or Commando. Just, you know, one specific perk that you could use. And that's something that I always felt that was missing from this game. You know, it's very hard to tack knife on this game when people are sitting in corners that are, you know, just sound whoring, waiting for you to come around the corner. I mean, how awesome would it be to have Commando and Ninja in the same class? Anyways, I'm just completely throwing that out there. It's not needed, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. This has been MRG, and I will catch you all next time.